Major Muhammad Ali Shah also on the telecast with me and, and uh, Major Ali, uh, with regards to the RSS outreach that has been done by way of translating one of the four Vedas, the Samved into Urdu. Uh, do you also feel this outreach uh, should also be equally perpetuated in the rest of the languages of the country, not just Urdu? Also keeping in mind, you know, these four Vedas are, are in large extent have gotten disappeared because they were not uh, pr preserved as the centuries passed by. Mega, mega, the four Vedas, uh, Rig Ved, Yajur Ved, Sam Ved, uh, Thar Ved, they are very, very important. They are part of scriptures and I, it's, now it's up to a per, per person's perception. Either you see it as a cultural text or you see it as a religious text. In the 17th century, Dara Shikor tried uh, the Upanishads, he tried uh, translating them. He was killed by his brother Aurangzeb. In fact, uh, so no one has dare to actually translate the, the no no one from the Muslim religion has dared to translate any inscription after that. So yes, I think the outreach would be very good. It's very important Excuse not me. just to not just to read the cultural text, but also I see no harm in even reading the religious text. Only if you read the religious text of any other religion will you understand what the other religion says. Without reading it, one tends to judge. Many times, people of different faiths, they tend to judge. Okay, my faith is this, their faith is this. But no, only when you actually read, you realize that all the religions, all the texts, they all talk of one thing, which is humanity, which is love, which is peace, which is brotherhood. I have read the Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. I have read the Bhagavad Gita. I have read the Quran Sharif. I have read the Holy Bible. In fact, in our school, we were teaching, we, 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 were, we were reading the Bible very, very happily. We were a predominantly a Christian school, actually. So it is uh, most certainly, and I think this outreach is uh, it's very, very, very important for people to actually understand and understand and analyze and judge for themselves. Otherwise, they'll go on hearsay that, oh, a lot of people will say, okay, so in, a lot of people tell me, apparently in Quran, so it's written, I said, listen, you guys, you are quoting a lot of text. So let's let's come to the context. So when I make them understand, because I've read it and I've had an understanding about it, then they say, oh yes, now it PC sense. Similarly, Mega, when there is a translation of the Veda or some Veda and people understand it in Urdu, I think it's a it's a welcome step. It is something which should have done long time ago. But again, Mr. Durani, the filmmaker in Mumbai, it took him six years to actually of hard work and research. It's a very, very good step and a welcome step. And I totally agree with Mr. Shahid Sadiqi. I think he spoke a lot of sense, very well-read person, very knowledgeable person. And I think he spoke a lot of sense and I'm totally, I totally concur with him 100% Mega. Okay. All right. Major Muhammad Ali Shah, again, again, language is not uh, segregated, not limited to religions. But we also see the north-south divide. We see the language wars that take place. Now, what is the understanding? What is that one key takeaway that we understand, that we take from the outreach that is being done, from by way of uh, spreading this knowledge of the Vedas, of the Sanatan Dham to the world, and, and by way of Urdu language, which is also spoken in various parts of the world, not just in India? Absolutely, Mega. Mega, that's a very, very good question. And, you know, I'm sure everyone would be able to connect with this. The very fact is, you know, it's about a language. Uh, Urdu is not the Muslim language, but yes, it's originated from the Sindh, all right. And we cannot deny the fact that a lot of Muslims speak Urdu and people assume and presume that, okay, my name is Muhammad Ali Shah. So I would be having no. knowledge about Urdu, which I do have. More, so more Muslims speak Bengali so, or, or Mal Malayali in, yeah. in Kerala. Or uh, yeah, Tamil Muslims completely speak sure. Tamil, so Muslims, it's not a language of Muslims. I mean, in, if you include the population sure. of Bangladesh, Tripura and West Bengal, then more Muslims speak Bengali uh, than Hindu. So sure. Muslim language will be and a Bengali fact, language. Even various languages, Hindi, Hindi has, you know, you speak in Hindi and you, you're borrowing a lot of Urdu terms. Mega, the, fact is, the fact is, the fact is, languages Urdu like are Nagami, similar. They are similar Ashmi, languages. Tamil. Tamil Terima, Nala Terima, Nagamis, Apuki Lokata Lokpai Kira Bishwiji Kuchik Pashe, be it Punjabi, be it Gujarati, be it any language in fact, 
the see i'll give you a small example but, they speak punjabi and sindhi the more the fact that is the sir sir they have no they no argument here sir you have to understand one thing we are all on the same page sir we are all on the same page we are all are agreeing with what you are saying and you have spoken a lot of sense i totally agree with you sir so now okay. the very fact is that uh, uh, the, 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 the very fact is that when if i speak in a universal language i'll have more audience a simple language you spoke about shakespeare now shakespeare i did i did a film called heather which is the translation the adaptation by vishal bhatwaj on on hamlet so again shakespeare wrote a lot of uh, talks which which people could not understand initially like for example his famous speech from uh, the mythology yeah. friends romans countrymen let me hear uh, that come to paris either not to praise him the evil that men do live out of them the good of it the gold so let him see the the noble yeah. uh, tone so people yeah so the language it. needs to be anecdotal it needs to be a bridge it needs to be Correct. it needs to tell you, a story can, yes yes go say, ahead sir yeah so you can say it's not urdu is not urdu is not a muslim language but the translation will help urdu knowing people as major shah rightly said that the, if you know the original text then they will understand the real meaning i thank all of you for joining me on this very special telecast and sharing your views